Levante, 12 years in the league. I ask you this all the time, mm -hmm. but do you feel like you've been in the league for 12 years? Uh, Not really, man. It go by so fast, you don't even know. You know, I can still remember everything that happened my rookie year, how all that went on, just, just the whole process of getting to this uh uh, situation right here right now, but uh, I'm definitely blessed man. Definitely blessed blessed definitely blessed to be at the same organization for those 12 years and uh, Definitely uh, to be back with the guys The coaches have talked about on defense. So one area that you guys needed to improve on was the tackling mm -hmm. uh, How do you do that especially during training camp when you're not bringing down yeah. running backs receivers tight ends? Yeah, basically, you know, uh, you, know you know, you can't bring nobody down in, 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 in uh, camp or whatever, but you just got to be able to come to a position where we know where you can make a tackle. You know, uh, if you get a good thud, you know, when it's running back going through the uh, through the middle of the field, you got to thud him up or receiver catch the ball, just be there and uh, make it make sure you can, uh, you know, be in a good tackling position. And uh, that's something that we made an emphasis on for sure. You know, a lot of open space tackling and stuff like that. That goes back to us getting to our landmarks and not dropping then breaking on the football when the ball is thrown and uh, getting 11 guys to the ball. So we definitely uh, make an emphasis on that during the camping. Uh, so far, it's been cool. After being with uh, here and playing with Tom Brady for the last few years, mm -hmm. how different is it with him not being here and now you have a quarterback competition? Uh, the only difference is, man, just, you know, the, the hype die down, I guess. You know, uh, when you bring Tom Brady, you know, it comes with a lot of hype. You know what I'm saying? A uh, legendary quarterback, a guy who played in the game for 23 years at a high level. And uh, to his own right, man, he deserves all the praise that he gets. Uh, but now that he's gone, you know, we kind of kind of got – written off a little bit with the two guys that we do have, you know, with Baker and Kyle Trask, that competition going on. Um, I love to see it, man. I love a great competition. You know, everybody across the field is competing, you know, but those guys got the spotlight, but, you know, obviously because they're the quarterback, but uh, it's competition all over the field, and, man, everybody's out there having fun. Everybody's competing, and uh, I love it. I love to be out here with the guys, and uh, it's definitely been a, a smooth camp so far. Levante David, when you think of defense in Tampa Bay, that's the first name that pops into your head. <laughs> How important was it to get your contract extension done this offseason and potentially retire as a Tampa Bay Buck? Yeah, uh, it was very important, man. It was good conversing back and forth between my team and, uh, and the organization. Uh, we was able to, uh, you know, come to an agreement, you know, that you know that helped both sides. Um, my camp was happy. The, the organization was happy. And at the end of the day, man, I didn't want to be nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to uh, be able to finish my career out here, you know, however, however long that may be. And, uh, you know, they, they was able to honor me with that. So uh, I, do, I do take my hat off to this organization. They have been uh, doing a great job of just, you know, communicating back and forth with me, and um, I definitely appreciate that. But uh, like I said, man, I made great relationships here in Tampa, uh, obviously with the organization and with the players that come in and, uh, and the people in the community, the stuff that I like to do in the community, uh, just connect with people outside of the community. And uh, for me to be back here uh, special, it means a lot. One last thing. you. Uh, there aren't a lot of you left from the Super Bowl team, and that was only mm -hmm. a few years ago. Mm -hmm. When you look around, you yeah. see all that youth and, mm -hmm. and around you. Yeah. What does that do for this team in terms yeah. of speed, mm -hmm. enthusiasm, and all that type of stuff? Yeah, like you said, man, it's a younger team. You know, a lot of new guys coming in to, to a, a culture that we're trying to set, you know, uh, that year that we did win the Super Bowl. And uh, those guys, they're coming in and they're buying in. They understand what it takes. And uh, having those young guys coming in, flying around, making plays, that's what you need. You know, you want to try to get younger, and uh, we were able to do that this offseason with the draft picks and, uh, and the free agency, getting a lot of speed, you know, and things like that, getting a lot of guys who are football savvy. Uh, that's something that you love to have, and uh, it definitely uh, give us a lot of confidence going to this season. And uh, But right now, you know, just focus on oiling up the, the small things right now, and uh, that's what training counts for, and uh, so far, so good. All right. Good conversation with Levante David and Chris Godwin at Bucks Camp. They are 8-1 to one to win the NFC South. It seems to be the most winnable division in the NFL. The Saints are the favorites, but the Bucks with the longest odds, a win total of just 6.5.